Prove it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, I call out to the spirits of this place. I will give anything or pay any price if only you will help me save my people. Hello guys, this is Doran's Movies, and today I'll be giving you the lore of Frostmourne. Frostmourne is one of the most influential weapons in the Warcraft universe. It corrupted Artis and created a new Lich King, and now in Legion the shards of it will be used for the new artifact weapon. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Sometime after the Second War, Nerzul attempted to open portals from Draenor so that the Horde can find fresh worlds to conquer. That is, at least what they thought. Instead, Nerzul abandoned the Horde and only allowed his followers to go through. This act of greed and selfishness did not go unpunished, as immediately once stepping through the portal, he was captured by Kil'jaeden. Displeased with the orcs failing to serve the legion, Nerzul was torn apart, however his spirit was kept alive so that it can serve Kil'jaeden once again. Nerzul was used in the new plot of invading Azeroth and he had the task of preparing the world for the legion. He was bound to the Helm of Domination and trapped inside the Frozen Throne and thus the Lich King was born. This is also the time when Frostborn was created by the Net regime for the purpose of controlling and restraining the Lich King. Nerzul, however, was not content with being a puppet of the Legion, and very early he began to work on his plan for escape. His first step was to use his powers and push Frostborn from the Frozen Throne away into the lands of Northrend. This way, the one who finds it and claims it becomes his servant. However, Nerzul was not stupid and he wasn't going to have some footman claim it, but instead he orchestrated this entire plan in order to attract the Prince of Lordaeron, Artis, to the sword. Artis, completely blind to the grand scheme, followed Mal'Ganis to Northrend, who he thought was the source of the plague. There he met the dwarf Muradin, who told him all about this great artifact Frostmourne. Unable to battle the undead, the sword was his last resort in order to stop the invasion. Little did he know is that Mal'Ganis was also a puppet and that the destruction of his kingdom of Lordaeron was yet to come. Through the sword, Artis was cursed and turned into a death knight and the agent of Nerzul. He murdered and raised his former army before returning to Lordaeron. There he betrayed and killed his father and set the scourge loose upon the city. Not long after, most of the northeastern kingdom was destroyed and turned into a base of operation for the undead armies. At this point, Kill Jaden realized that the Lich King had betrayed him and he had sent Illidan to destroy the Frozen Throne. Artis was quickly summoned to defend Nerzul and take his place. Illidan's armies were defeated and Artis, wielding Frostborn, managed to beat Illidan in a duel. Now, again with the use of Frostmourne, he climbed all the way to the Frozen Throne, shattered the ice and became the new Lich King. Ever since then, Frostmourne became known as his signature weapon, however, it wasn't no ordinary sword. Frostmourne has the ability to drain souls, becoming more powerful with every foe slain. On top of that, it is extremely effective, shattering almost any weapon it comes in contact with. As powerful as it is, we learn that it is not the strongest weapon out there, as during the final battle against Artis, Tyrion wielding the Ashbringer managed to shatter Frostmourne into pieces. At that moment, thousands of souls were released and freed, but not all were so fortunate. In World of Warcraft Legion, Death Knights will have a questline to subdue the remaining spirits and recover the shards of the legendary Frostmourne. With the remnants of the blade, two new swords will be created, the Icebringer and the Frost Reaper, making Frostmourne alive once again. 
All right, that is all I have for this video. Now, do leave your thoughts on what you would like to see next. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already, as it really helps out and keeps all the videos going. And thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video, and see you next time.